Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 133 of Darwell20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series, where today we're going to be doing all the things that are related to making a creative tank. We're really close. I think we might be able to pull it off this episode. It depends how many of these fluids we have to make uh, versus just, you know, have laying around. Um, so what we need to get is four portable tanks full of some kind of liquid, uh, and then a bunch of buckets full of some kind of liquid. But everything else, to my knowledge, we have already. So, like, let's just get rolling here, because first off, I know one of the one of the tanks that we need needs to be full of UU Matter. Which, if you had said to me at the beginning of the series, like, 32 buckets of UU Matter, are you crazy? But nowadays, eh, it's not so crazy. Boom. Because we've got 300 buckets. So we got, like, almost 10 times that. 300 buckets left after the 32. So, like, hello. UU Matter done. Look at that. We already took care of one of the things we got to do. Uh, the next one we need is ethanol. Uh, and we're also going to need tree oil and primal mana. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one. That will probably be a big one. Primal mana. Um, do I get buckets of primal mana? I'm pretty sure I have those on autograph. So what if I made 32 of those? Like, that's totally doable, right? Get to work, chief. You know what I want, make it so. Hopefully requesting 32 buckets worth of primal mana all in one go is not a big mistake on my part. I'm just gonna hope that it that's that it's okay, that that nobody's gonna complain about that many buckets of Marble Man all at once. It seems to be working out all right. Crafting, coolant buckets, that's what you're making. I see two coolant buckets, all right, that's fair enough. I mean, you're cooking right along. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, this thing moves pretty quick, to be fair. And don't forget we have some of this. Pretty good. I'll take it. All right. And then you're over here doing your thing, right? Yeah, you are. Nice. And look, we've got Primal Mana showing up. Beautiful. All right. Well, that cooks up. That's going to be one of my one of my buddies. Uh, the other thing that we need uh, in large amounts is uh, it was tree something, right? Tree oil. So which one's that? Tree oil? That's from Thermal Foundation. Uh, and that's... Fractioning still of resin. Fractioning still of resin. Uh, and resin we get from a resin funnel. That's a pretty small amount of resin that we're going to get here, though. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. That's a pretty small-ish amount. Like, birch is going to give me 10 millibuckets. What about, like, oak? Does oak just exist here? Is that, is that cool? Spruce, pine, jungle... I'm assuming oak is one of the ones we can do, right? I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, so we're going to want a resin funnel. Resin funnel. Don't look too bad. Two copper plates, a servo, and a tin gear. Gear of tin. Two copper plates. Resin funnel. Booyah. Now let's check out what's going on over here. So I had a feeling I already had one of these set up over here, and I totally do. I've just been voiding the tree oil, which, you know, whatever. It's all good, right? I'm not too worried about that. Uh, do I have any extra jungle? I don't see any over here. Let's pop over to this location for an investigation into jungle wood. Oh, yeah, we do. Nice. Now, I don't know how much jungle wood, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be a lot, right? Uh, so theoretically, if I'm not mistaken, I put that in there. This kicks off. You do your thing. And you're going to fractioning still make your resin. And then we've got tree oil in there. Beautiful. Look at that. Already 100, 100 millibuckets. We are well on our way. Uh, and guess what? Resonance. Can I have a resonant conversion kit times two? Uh, and some augments. How about, I don't know. Six of those. I think that's a good idea, right? Boom. And you shouldn't be too insane, right? I do want to go check on, you know, Buddy over there, because making 32 of those things at once was probably a tall order. Probably a little bit of a tall order. But, meh. There you go. Now we're cooking. That's what's up. Is that better? 
That should get us our uh, tree oil in no time. So we'll just leave that be and theoretically we'll get a bunch. What are you up to, buddy? Uh, your primal mana is getting a little bit thick. If I click on it, it should be groovy now. Right? I just needed to tell tree oil he goes in the bottom. Hooray. Are you cool? We got 24. Why does it say schedule late crafting eight? What's going on down here? I forget how this works in typical dire fashion. I set it up a long time ago, okay guys? Huh, that's funny. I would have thought you would have been a groovy companion and did the right thing here, but maybe not. Can I just have eight more? You be canceled, you make your eight more, and then we'll see if everybody's good and friendly. Because that shouldn't take too long to make, right? Come on, buddy. And you know what? Let me get a transposer real quick. Um, and you know what? I'm going to get a flux point. So you guys cooking? Is that what's happening? I see two coolant. Mirian. Now we're good. Why'd you split it into four? Oh, you're still making IC2 coolant buckets. That's interesting. Is that what got stuck? It would seem so. Oh, did you fill? That's interesting. How do I solve that problem? Um, that solves, that explains where the eight things went. Um, uh oh, bad things happening outside. Bear with me a moment, guys. We have a troublesome situation happening. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's another uh, warp effect, if I'm not mistaken. So it's interesting. Um, if I just put... So that's an interesting factoid of what happens there. I see what's happening, and I don't appreciate it. I get it. I get it. That's an interesting thing that's happening. So this should solve my crafting problem, right? And then we should, if we check our primal mana... Yeah, that actually, having this back stuff of IC2 coolant should prevent that from ever happening again, in theory. So I'll leave it there and not worry about its existence. How's that sound? Okay, so now let's get a small storage crate. And you, sir, are going to be set up like this and this, where you are going to be auto input like that and you're gonna be empty mode cool you need a little bit of power just to help you out cool and then if we take our look at our primal mana this in theory should work oh that's interesting you're not outputting that guy there huh i thought you would huh Yeah, that's what I expected you to do. Weird that it didn't do that the one time. Oh, you know what? Maybe he pulled the empty bucket back in. That's probably what happened. Okay, hey, look. That's what's up. All right, so that's that guy. And then you're cooking right along, right? Did you run out of... Wow, jungle wood already? Okay, today we learned that's a lot of jungle wood needed. Don't worry, we can make it happen. I've got solutions to all these problems. 
Okay. Not concerned. Number one, we have plenty more jungle wood where that came from. And number two, we could always, you know, grow another jungle tree if uh, such a thing was necessary. Which it may or may not be, based on uh, what's up. Uh, and yes, I could just swap them if I wanted to, but eh. Alright, that might be enough to get us going. Now let's check out this other thing that we have to make. Right? I think it was ethanol, right? Isn't that what it was? So the last tank that we need to make is ethanol. Now is that the ethanol from added by forestry? So that is the forestry ethanol. Um, not the nuclear craft ethanol, not the immersive engineering ethanol, but the forestry ethanol. So for that we need copious amounts of biomass in a fractioning still. And biomass we can get from a fermenter or uh, pretty much probably just a fermenter. Okay. We can make this happen, right? And it's just, it's usually saplings, right? And, and uh, compost or mulch or fertilizer will work. All right. So let's get a fermenter real quick. So you're just going to need a couple bronze gears. Bada bing, bada boom. These are these are liquids that I've never made before, right? Like we, I mean, in in, in past series, ethanol and, and biofuel from forestry have been around pretty much at this point as long as modded Minecraft has, right? Like, like we're talking old school, old school at this point, right? And it is super old school, uh, the oldest of schools, if you will. Um, so let's set up a let's get some conduits. Let's get probably item conduits, probably some, maybe need some fluid conduits. I'm thinking we're gonna need fluid conduits almost certainly, right? Um, and what we're gonna want is saplings, lots of saplings and fertilizer from forestry, which by the way, can be made with appetite, which we should have a stupid amount of, right? If we're, if we're asking ourselves how much appetite do we have, it's 2,352 and we're not even processing this stuff. Right. So this will be another like temporary ish setup. Right. Um, and the fractioning still will probably be the best way to convert this stuff. So what more do I need for fractioning? Uh, two Constantin and a nickel gear. Right. Two Constantin. And a nickel gear um, and the reception coil should give me a fractioning still. And we'll see how fast you are and if you need upgrades or not. But I'm suspecting that my bottleneck in this process will probably be the fermenter. So long story short, fermenter needs water in it, right? So we're gonna need a sink. We could use juice, but frankly, we only need 32 buckets worth of this stuff. So it's not worth going too crazy, right? We'll just make a quick sink um, and call it a day. Uh, Cool. So we don't have to go too nuts on this stuff. Down, extract, not insert. So you should be getting water, sapling should go in there, and you're gonna make biomass after you have a little smidgen of power. Boop, boop, and boop. Cool. So now you got power, you're making biomass. Now I'm pretty sure this thing won't auto output to an adjacent inventory. Uh, it's fluid, so what we're going to do here is on that direction, you will be an extract, and then um, you can be a blue on the back. You get biomass, which turns into ethanol. Sweet. It's not bad. Now, are you producing ethanol faster than the biomass is being produced? The answer is not exactly. So what we do want is a augment or th four, right? Um, and then we're going to want... Uh, conversion kit. Conversion kit, please start. Thank you. Muchos. Very good. Okay, so you should be cooking, cooking. Make and sulfur. Doing the thing. You know, those conversion kits are actually pretty quick to make anymore. Okay, and then the ethanol output can be there. And how cool is that? Look at that. Booyah. Now, I don't know how many saplings we're going to need, 
but apparently it's not that much, right? Which is cool. Because for a stack, For a stack, we got 40, 80. So we got about 10%. So like if we threw, I don't know, eight more stacks in there, that would probably be about right, probably. So let's do that. And I'll throw the fertilizer in there because it doesn't super matter. So on the up, you'll be extract. And on the west, you'll be insert. And that should be pretty good. So we let that chill for a little bit and we'll get once it's all done, a full portable tank of that stuff. How great is that? How are you doing? Empty 2280. All right, so we have a little bit more jungle wood to get. And I feel like a jungle sapling might be in my future at this point. Bone meal. Boom, boom. Hello, sir. Very nice. Can I? Does this sound dangerous? A little bit, right? It doesn't seem like it makes a difference. I think it's based on how much power it gets. So probably what I'd want to do is take accelerate this guy, to be honest with you. But that makes me extra nervous. So we'll let this cook because we've got plenty more liquids to make before we're done here, right? So we'll let that thing fill. While we're making the other liquids, we should be cool. All right, so that covers all of the tank liquids. Now we need bucket-based liquids, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do, I was gonna do a fluid transposer and then I realized I probably don't need one. So what I'm gonna do next is start looking at all the buckets that we need, right? So I'm just gonna kind of go like starting here, liquid DNA, right? That shouldn't be a problem. So let's just get ourselves a bunch of buckets. Who remembers when Minecraft empty buckets didn't stack? How much fun was that? Mutagen producer, right? Liquid DNA. I know we had that at some point, right? Liquid DNA comes from a DNA extractor. Where do we have the DNA? Do I have buckets of liquid DNA? Oh, I do already. Nice. Nice. That's what's up. That is what's up. We already have the liquid DNA bucket. How great is that? How great is that? Right? So there's your liquid DNA bucket. Right? Already. Already forgetting things I've set up. Bucket of blood from Biomes of Plenty. So that comes from blood, which is made in the Tinker's Melter. Or smelting. I could, I could pull that off. Or a squeezer now. Or we're going to want to smell zombie flesh. So, um, hey Siri, what's 1,000 divided by 40? Is that 25? 1,000 divided yeah, by 40 is 25. All right, so 25 flesh in here should equal blood. Right? And then over here, we do that. And that's how you're gonna get a bucket of blood. Cool? Easy peasy. Sweet. Bucket of blood. One more down. Next up, uh, goat milk from Animania. Where in the heck am I gonna get goat milk? I mean, I have a really bad feeling that I get it from goats. And I don't know that I've ever seen a goat, and I didn't even know there was such a thing as a goat in this mod pack. So I'm a little concerned. Random goat, spawn, right click. I didn't even know goats were a thing. Do I have to like go looking for goats? I didn't even know like goats were a thing, if I'm being 100% honest. Did anybody know goats were a thing? I don't know that I've seen goats before. I've seen, I've, I can't think of any non-vanilla peaceful mobs that I've seen. Compressed sheep, large white hog. All right, well, that's, a, that's definitely okay. Um, large white sow. Okay, that's cool. I guess I have to find a goat. 
I guess I'm gonna fly around for a little bit off camera and find a goat. Is that? Oh, yeah, I'll be right back. I feel like it would make sense if goats were in mountainous biomes. Wouldn't that make sense? To have a goat near mountains? I feel like that would make sense. What is this shenanigans? Hello, creature. What are you? Are you some kind of sandworm? Oh yeah, look at that, he totally is a sandworm of some kind. Uh, I've got a... I've got a laser here, buddy. Does that help? Oh, I got red deathworm chitin. Ha! <laughs> Take that, chief. I wonder if I need whatever this liquid is. Tectonic petrothium. I think I do. Don't I need a bucket of tectonic petrothium? Oh, I totally do. Booyah. What is up? I'm pretty sure that stuff's craftable, but hey, having it for free, also nice. Now, is this also tectonic petrothium? Oh, it is. I'll hang on to an extra bucket of it. I was thinking that might be oil or something. Oh, look, another dragon. What's up, buddy? You may have fire, but I've got a laser. Laser trumps fire. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? Sweet. Neptonium, huh? Aren't I trying to get more of that stuff? I don't even know anymore. Okay. Still looking for a goat, though. There's a buck. I don't know. Are you a goat? I don't know. Kinder buck? I don't know. They kind of look like goats. Back when I find a goat. Oh, look, more dragons. What are you guys, horses? Yeah. And a ram. Rams aren't a form of goat, are they? I don't think so. You never know. That kind of looks like a goat, right? I don't know. Like a baby goat. Is that a baby goat? Okay, I don't know what mod adds to this, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think there's sirens on that island over there. Watch what happens when I get too close. You ready? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's terrifying, right? Isn't that horrifying? I love it. The greatest thing ever. Luckily, I've got a pretty strong form of flight and I can get away from them. Like, I hesitate to kill them because that's such a cool... That's such a cool effect. The whole screen goes pink and everything. Like, that is cool beans right there, right? Still can't find a goat, though. Only been searching for about half an hour now. I don't know if it's really been half an hour, but it feels like it's definitely been like 20 minutes at least. I'm gonna keep looking. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm 90% sure that this Nigerian dwarf is a goat. But I feel like I need a doe, not a buck, to make milk. Right? Pretty sure that's how animals work. I'm just gonna look around to see if there's an adult one by chance. I feel like I've got a baby one in the lasso, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with that, mind you. I just wanna make sure. See, I can't get milk out of them, right? But with, I just feel like that's gotta be a baby because of how small it is. And if I bring it home and let it grow up, eh, you know. That might be cool. All right. I'm just gonna check around a few more minutes and I'll be right back. All right, experimentation time, because I think I read a thing. And I wanna see if it's true. <laughs> Buck and doe. What are you guys gonna breed with? Eat from troughs. How do I get you guys to breed, buddy? I know you both love me for feeding you, but eat, breed. Well, there's a trough. Let's put that down with... I think you guys would appreciate some food. Come on, bucks. Let's get an exchanger real quick. How's that sound? And a quick watering can. Uh, the good one.
Look, now you're standing on grass. You should be really happy. Poppies? Maybe you want flowers nearby? I don't know. From what I'm from what I'm reading, they need to be happy. How to make them happy is a really good question, actually. Uh, how about wheat? Since you didn't really want to seem to eat the apples when I was feeding them to you, maybe you want the wheat in the trough. How's that sound? Alright, eat. Eat breedable. I know you're breedable. I'm I'm trying to make you do that thing though. So yeah, you don't seem to want to eat those things. Come back in a minute. So according to the wiki, you can only get milk after the dough has a baby. Which, you know, makes sense. Makes sense. But how to make that happen is the question. I think you just have to wait. Well, in the meantime, we've got this thing taken care of. So that means all this can go away. Yay. All cleaned up. Right? Uh, don't need that stuff anymore, because that is all taken care of, right? So you're done. How about that tree stuff? I'm hoping that I just happen to be running into, like, the harder liquids and not the easier ones first. But I think a decent amount. Let's put all the things away that we don't need at the moment. So you guys actually, yeah, you can go away. I'll put you away for now, and the apples. We're getting close to the jungle wood amounts that we need, to be fair. Alright, we'll put the buckets away down here. We're close on the tree sap. We need the goat's milk still, but let's skip that one and come back to it, right? Uh, empowered oil and molten demon metal, right? So demon metal we can make. Actually, we have quite a lot of demon metal, for that matter. Um, because of the way we craft it, remember? Right? So if I put you in here, are you going to be cool? And how much of this do you make? Like, how much gets me a bucket? That's the question. Right? So you are 144 out of 1,000, right? There you are. And the excess liquid we'll just avoid. I don't know how much there'll be left. Two ingots, eight millibuckets. Well, now there's none left. How do you feel about that? All right, but we've got the bucket, so I'm cool with that. Uh, empowered oil needs an empowered canola seed, right? So check this out. Do we have canola seeds? So we're gonna need to make the canola oil, right? All right, so we have some canola, we have some canola seeds. Let's grow some of these bad boys with uh, bone meal. You know, the good old trick. Do, 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 do. Seeds and canola. So we're gonna need a canola press, and we're gonna need the, the, the other thing. Remember we used to do canola oil a lot? That was a good time. Canola press. So you're going to need an advanced coil. And you're going to need one of these dudes. And that should be cool, right? There you are. Now I forget which one of these needs power. Uh, it's this one, right? Flux point. So you're gonna canola press into canola, right? Um, and then refined canola can be in a fractioning still. Cool, let's get our fractioning still back. And you, there you go. Sweet, refined canola, beautiful. All right, and then we'll get ourselves a tank for the time being. Now we only need a bucket's worth of this, so it's not, you know, like we need a lot. Right, but there's all your stuff. Okay, now what we have to do next is zap that with the laser dude, right? That's what I'm gonna do.
And that should be cool. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this might work. Ta-da! It did work. Beautiful. I'm very pleased that that worked so easily. Thank you very much. Okay, so you and you go away. Uh, you're going to go into the ground. And turn into that, which is crystallized oil. And there is your empowered oil. Cool. And that is another bucket taken care of. Let's go check on our goats. That's two buckets taken care of because I forgot about the demon metal. Cool. Progress, my friends. Progress on the creative tank. Now you two over here. There's a baby in here. There's an, Well, there's another one in here. I can only assume that means it's a baby. No? We got goat's milk! Well, that wasn't so bad. We just had to make the goats happy by putting them food and water. Uh, and then once the once they did the breeding thing, you know, they were shy. They didn't want Darwell standing there. I can't blame them. I just can't. All right, so that is cool, right? So we got these three, these three. Molten Draconium Bucket. Uh, molten Draconium comes from what? One ingot's worth. Right, so it's probably going to be around nine again, right? Cool. You do your thing. Perfect. Molten Draconian Bucket. Easy peasy. You're going to have a little leftover. So technically, we are we only need seven buckets or seven ingots to make this thing happen, all right? So for future metals, which there may be some, seven ingots is the number. So now we need blazing pyrothium, zephyrian erothium, and essence bucket. Now, did we get essence bucket? No, but we have molten essence like right here, right? So if I just did this, that should be an essence bucket. Boom. Um, erothium. That can be made in a magma crucible for four of these erothium dusts. So if you can make three more, you need more niter? You don't know how to make niter? Niter is sandstone and a pulverizer, correct? There you go. So if we take four of those, put it in the magma crucible with a bucket in there, boom, zerothium, nice. Uh, and the other thing we need is a blazing pyrothium bucket, right? So same deal, four blazing pyrothium with a bucket and we should be cool. Beautiful. So those are those three, nice. All right, progress, progress, progress. Resonant Ender, Gelid Cryothium, and Tectonic Petrothium. Well, we got the Tectonic, right? So now we need Gelid Cryothium Bucket. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and Resonant Ender we should also have on Autocraft, right? Nice. All right, so unfortunately, it's pretty much wrapping up point, but we're super close. So I think what's going to happen is the next episode, we'll get these last nine buckets, and I'll also get the last of the jungle wood that we need. So we need refined oil. That shouldn't be too bad. Molten Miriam, I think, should be doable. Neutronium fluid and tritium, that should be doable. We're making most of that, right? Molten clay, pahaho lava, that's industrial craft. Sewage, I think we can get. Essence, that's different from this essence bucket? Industrial foregoing essence. Oh, we need two of those. Okay, well, that's cool. And witch water. Witch water should be doable, right? We can do witch water. So we need two essence buckets. Okay. Or so it would seem. All right, for now, that was when I sign it off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll have a few more uh, fluids to make next episode, but we should be doable for now. That was when I sign it off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know what to do. Take it easy.